Sometimes you can see water swimming close to shore. Perhaps gain respect to the fallen prince. This is a landscape of rugged beauty with an abundance of fresh fish and game. But I see these mountains and lochs through the eyes of a woman. But men think only of conquest. They see a place for a powerful fortress located where three waters meet. They desire it for themselves. I remember watching Viking longboats sail up the loch on their way to battle with King Alexander. The moon blocked her summer sun, and all went dark. But ignoring this moment, the Vikings sailed on. And only days later, their fate came to pass with defeat at last. A jubilant Alexander awarded a brave lieutenant the title Constable of Aaron Donan. And as the eldest daughter of a local clan chieftain, the new constable offered me a performance of marriage. This beautiful boy, mm -hmm. the first of to be born on Aaron Donan. We call him Kenneth Mackenzie. The gallant king's son of the fair one. He will put down roots for many Mackenzies to come. Take a look outside. What will your memories of this place be? Beauty? Or bastion? Home? Or fortress? By God, what insolence. My men in the launch were rolling out a flag of truce when a Spanish garrison fired upon us. Upon my word, as captain of the Enterprise, I was willing to be reasonable and negotiate surrender terms like gentlemen. They fired my men unprovoked. It was my duty to return fire at them tenfold. For over an hour, my ship's 44 guns and the 48 guns of the Worcester bombarded their castle walls. Those poor scoundrels held up a deal and done it. Who or what could come to their aid? Not their glorious armada. We knew that their fleet had been scattered by heavy storms a mere three weeks after leaving the port of Cadiz. Oh, what folly. Isn't it comforting how history repeats itself? God was with us in 1588 and he is with us now. And not their Jacobite friends either. We know about the pitiful band of Highland rebels currently heading east. They will be met by General Whiteman coming from Inverness, and their certain defeat will end this pompous endeavor. Many a clan chieftain is more than content to trade their steward king for Hanoverian favors. And on the walls of Elan Donner. They were no match against the might of His Majesty's Navy. So, I came ashore to confirm the Spanish surrender. Their fate is a ship to Leith and jail in Edinburgh Castle. Sadly, it is now time to destroy this fortress. No, we cannot allow the Jacobites to romanticize anymore. Their rebellion, just like this castle, will be reduced to rubble and never built up again. Somewhat ironic, I use the rebels' very own barrels of gunpowder to blow this bastion from the island. When I light this train, you best see colour. Okay. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Thank you very much.